Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So we have a new rotating recruitment banner and a few Aurorians to discuss whether they're worth pulling or not. So we have two five stars, which is Klecken and Keating, and one six star, which is Midgard. So let's uh, take this out of the way and uh, take a look at Keating. So Keating here, I, I won't really um delve into deeper on what they do or the three of them do or anybody does okay so keating does a debuff um enemies um take more damage so basically that is the gist of their kit they are kind of good in some stages so that is the extent i'm i'm not really i'm not really um you know i'm not really uh what they call this i'm not really inclined to get them but you know you might get them when you pull for this banner anyway but again that is my assessment of keating next is going to be klecken um klecken is one of the best converters fear and um, as a result it skips a, a, he makes the enemy skip a turn we'll go through his kit later so we're gonna be finishing up with Migard. Migard, probably near the best tier not really on the top tier but the best tier high damage on mob stages uh, the problem with Migard is really um her teleportation it's it's so limited but again for me personally i'd be pulling for Migard because i need the preemptive strike for a second copy of her so let's take a look at both Klecken and Migard on their kit. At least you could have, if you don't have them right now, most uh, beginners or mid-game players have copies of them or don't have them yet. So let's take a look at their kit and see if uh, you would like to consider pulling for this banner as a whole. Okay, so here we are with Klecken. Let's take a look at the equipment. The equipment is actually... Um, should be leveled up for click and just in case that you need you want to increase the uh, fright uh, because again the percentage of uh, on on fright is inflicted is increased as you level up because um, this the the highest what level 10 is below 80% HP so this is I think the best that you would want to have him in so probably just uh, go through level 10. Level 6 is already good at below 60% HP uh, inflicts fright. And um, that is it. That is why you should really get Klecken. So he is really easy to level up and to not level up but to break through because he's a 5 star. And very excellent, um, very, very excellent converter, I may say. Converts already five near styles because i'm at breakthrough five and uh, again even for damage decent damage for a converter so let's move on to migard okay migard on the other hand uh, for her equipment also contributes to a lot of damage for her so i have her at six but at level 10 it's only a five percent if the target's HP is lower than 30%. So just a small gap to, you know, to launch one more attack dealing 100% attack damage. So at level 6, it's, it's a 25 and 80. So also worth um, leveling up um, her equipment. One thing to note is um, if you have a hard time getting copies of her um, for her breakthrough at max, not max, at breakthrough 2, we don't need a copy of her. But for the preemptive strike for her teleport, you really need one copy. That is why I want to, you know, get a copy of her, hopefully in the banner tomorrow. And uh, that is actually the extent that I would want to pull for this banner. So again, for those who are, you know, for those who are beginning, if you don't have that much heroes in, in Forest, I think she's worth investing at this point. I did get her from the banner initially. I get I got her from another banner, off banner, actually. So uh, with this banner, I'm going to get her, you know, copy of her for that uh, Breakthrough 3. Again, Midgard is good for mobs. Klecken is also good for mobs because of the fear. Limited teleport for Migard with a two cooldown. So again, a limited. It's limited to a certain cluster within or around Migard. So 
that is it guys for this banner so hopefully um you could decide already whether you're going to you know dive into this banner or not and uh, just want to give you guys um a reminder for for the current banner that is expiring so we have here kind of slow sorry so the the banner that is expiring for the rotating banner is this one for iridion faust and hydrad so Iridion, if, if you want to compare her with Migard, Iridion is, I think, better in terms of what she does. Kind of OP, especially if you have her at break at, at max breakthrough. But for Migard, again, you only, I think, need her to be at max, I don't know, at breakthrough 3 so that she could be serviceable. So again, it's up to you if you still want to pour in your pulls here be my guest but definitely the other banner is going to be going down tomorrow i tried pulling for that banner but didn't get a radio or a copy of her for this one i'd like to get a copy of Midgard, um as much as possible because it opens up a lot of possibilities with preemptive strike okay guys so that is it that is my review for the rotating banner there are actually is a another event dropping as well uh, together with the rotating banner so again check that out tomorrow as the game updates um and thank you guys so if you want additional uh what do you call this additional details on the event you may check out the official Facebook page of the game and click here for other or more details on the update. I don't want to go through this anymore. But again, there's... Uh, sorry, I just... Uh, I, I actually saw this. There's an outfit returning to the store. It's actually under Midgard. So I've seen this. I think it's good. So if you guys want to spam, I think this is a worthwhile... I think it's a good design for Midgard. So that is it, guys. So that is part of the update the rotating recruitment and hope to see you guys in the next video if you're still here please do consider subscribing because i put out alchemy stars uh videos um guides and and that sort so thank you guys very much please do consider subscribing this helps my channel and take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here